Hey guys, and welcome to Take Care. Today we will be reviewing the Konica Auto Reflex T3. Now I'll be showing you how the camera works, every single bit of the camera, and the specs of the camera. Right now, when you guys have a quick look at the camera, I will just sit still and show you guys the camera. As I said, please hit, hit the big red subscribe button as I am quite new to YouTube. And please like, like and subscribe. Thanks a lot and let's get on with the review. This is the viewfinder. This right over there is the winding knob that is used to wind up the film. This over here is the shutter button. As if you load the film, press the shutter button, it will take a photo. Just above there is the on and off switch. Always keep your camera in the off position so it will not waste the battery. Okay, and when you see the off position, you will not be able to take any photo. Here's the plate where you put your flash in and right over here is where the few seconds is where you put what type of form you have in. Right now I have Ilford HP5 400 ASA form. It is not called ASA anymore which stands for American Standard Association. It is now called ISO. ASA was an old name for the speed of the film. And talking about ASAs or ISOs, over here you pull up the knob, the shutter speed knob, and you can change the ASA of your film. This is very important. Remember, right over here is a knob to wind up your film once you have taken any photos. To do that, you push the clutch, which is that button right over there. I'm gonna roll this up. Turn it, turn it until you hear a click sound which will mean that your phone is in there then you hold that down right over there and it will open the back of the camera open the back of the camera and your phone will be all rolled up in my next video i will be doing a slow mo of the shutter i don't know if you guys can see it but it's there when you load the phone and she's moving now. Then it will take the photo. And then it's super slow motion in 1000 on So it basically exposes the photo and it opens the f stop automatic camera. And this camera is a semi automatic camera. It's the f stop automatic. Depending on what lens you have. And then we quickly show you guys how to adjust the f stops according to your light reading. So there are two ways to do light readings. The first one is to look inside your camera's viewfinder and on the side is a little meter and depending on where the meter is, it will tell you the f-stop. So let's say the camera is on the number four right over there. Then you go here and you change this to four right over there and then you can take the photo but if you are too lazy to do that turn the knob all the way to AE but this does depend on which camera you have which lens and camera you have and then you just wind it get your shutter speed right and take the photo it's as simple as that and Guys, I guess that's all for today. And yes, that should be all for today. Next review will be about the Canon 
81. It will be posted right after this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe and comment in the comment section down below.